And welcome to Studio 5. We're going to jump right in with a way to help spruce up your home a little bit here. Sometimes. Aaron pulls all these pranks on people behind the scenes, and it's not funny. Someone was trying to get around the studio, and I made them think they were going to be on sooner than they really were. But they weren't. Yeah, they're really. fine. They knew I was joking. Okay, we are diving into a really fun project. And if you ever peek at vlogs, you've seen this trend popping up big time. The inexpensive home decor women who are pulling it off with just empty old frames. It seems the chunkier and the bigger the frame, the better. You can't even find these frames in secondhand you stores You have one, one of the big chunky ones. You I do, yeah. but they're hard to find because they're so popular right now. So here's a taste, all the work of one designer. It's a blog called The Nesting Place. Okay, you see the chalkboard frame? Yeah, yeah. They've taken that big chunky frame, put a chalkboard in the middle, using the frame to mount and draw attention to something as simple as a plate. That's this next weird. One, That's sort of cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I love this idea. Oh, I wish totally I had a empty wall. Frames. Yeah, where I could pull that off. So same color, monochromatic color, but different frames. And there's another idea too, just propping it up on your fireplace or your mantle. Because a lot of times people need a bigger space right there above the mantle and frames would fill it out right there. Right. Frames, kind of the new hip decorating trend. And with all of that design inspiration as a backdrop, designer Christine McKay is here with some more picture perfect ideas. She is a self-confessed frame freak because she thinks everything <laughs> revolves around frames. You love frames. I do. And you know, as a do-it-yourselfer, I think I was telling you, if I only had one element to work with, it would be picture frames. In fact, like last night, I finally just had to say, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> my mind was just going with all these ideas. And your husband's like, I've been telling you that for the last <laughs> Yeah, stop. yeah, 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 stop. But honestly, picture frames are such a great base starting piece for almost any project. There's so many things you can do. All right, let's dive in. You've okay. got some great ideas. Let's dive in. Okay, the first thing that I decided to make was just, this is so simple, but such a great gift. This is just a, a tray. And basically, I just did a picture frame, and I want to show you what this looked like before. I purchased this at a yard sale. You can see the sticker's still on there for $2. The sale price is still on the back. So, so whoever bought this originally bought it for $20. And what I did is I took this and... After she made fun of that individual. Yeah, after, <laughs> after I made fun of them, mm -hmm. I bought their ugly frame. Just kidding. <laughs> and, then, and then I decoupaged it. And what's really great is there's a company, it's called Kay and Company, and they have huge... Um, uh, pieces of uh, pa decorative paper for decoupaging and it comes in a big huge pad so it makes it really easy. I just did the outside, attached some handles on the end. It comes in a pad? It comes in a big pad about this big. Like and you just, rip off the sheets yeah, off the pad? Yeah, and it's just all decorative paper and it's so nice for these bigger projects. Cool. You don't have to piece it together. And this will be really great for like breakfast in bed or for mom to organize her perfume on top or even just like to sit on the coffee table. So mm -hmm. really easy. Cute. Okay, so the next one, this is a little more involved and I have to tell you, this is a first time I've ever made anything out of wood in my whole life in a, with a saw. Do you know what and I've learned? Whenever Christine puts her hand on her head, something good is coming. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. I've never actually used a saw before, and I found out that balancing it like on your knee is not a good idea. No, I, wait, I gotta find out. Is this, is this a mm -mm 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 saw or is it Oh, it was like a saw? scroll saw. I mean, oh. no, 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 a skill saw, like the okay. big one. Yeah. But, you know, I thought I could ask my husband to help me, but then I I thought it would take way too long because he'd want to do all the boring stuff like tool safety and measuring. <laughs> so I just did it. Yeah. So I just yeah. did it myself. And honestly, it was so easy. Sure. It was so easy. Once I got the sawhorses okay. set up. Yeah. So this right here, this was probably the, the my favorite one that you I did. You built that? I built this. Wow. Yeah. I saw this at a boutique and I absolutely loved it. It was sixty dollars. Their version was probably a little, a little cuter, a little nicer than mine. The lines are a little straighter, but basically, it's a little curio cabinet. And the front, you can see, is just an 8 by 10 picture frame. And all I did was I just created a box. And I just want to show you how easy this was. I, um, I went to Home Depot and I purchased, a, a, this was like a fence post for $2.57. Mm -hmm. And I j what you'll want to do is you take a frame. Okay, pretend like this is, this is your frame. Mm -hmm. I just measured, the, measured it, the exact length of the frame. Okay. So you've got your two outer pieces. You want to just hold yep. those there. And then the you'll want to just, built. yep, really simple. Look, it was like just, four, I cut four pieces of wood. How did you tack them together? I, I with nails. You say glue. Oh, okay. I did do glue. <laughs> And then I nailed it. But okay. you can see, I mean, it, it was just really easy. And I didn't yeah. even measure. I just literally took the frame, placed it on the wood, traced it, um, put a little glue on, nailed it together, and then traced the back of the frame, and there's the back of the curio. There's your base. So it was so simple. Um, and so you roughed it up. Then I just roughed it, it, up, roughed it up, painted it. up. And I want to show you my very favorite part of this. And I, this was a part I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull off. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a frosted glass window. 
And that was what was so eye-catching about it. And how I created that was you can buy full sheets by Avery. They're at the office store, and they're clear labels. So what I did is I printed the design off mm -hmm. on the full sheet clear label. I peeled it off put it onto the glass. I used a burnisher just to make sure I got all the bubbles out and it totally gave it a, like a, wow. a frosted glass look. That's really cool. And if you like this design, you can go on to kmkdesigns.com and download that and print it and put it into an 8x10 frame. Cute. So taking that same concept on the end, I created a little keepsake box. Same, same thing, only I used the lid for the or the, a 5 by 7 frame for the lid. Same thing, I used the Avery paper to do the design on the front. You That's could also stand paper on the front. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, next. This right here, this one in the middle, I made a little canister. Now, the cool thing about this is I made it out of IKEA frames. They come in a pack for $1.99. Oh, yeah. Honestly, we could do an entire segment of 101 things you can do with those little IKEA frames. You, could. Oh, I, you know what? There's so many things you can <laughs> do. Right, have, uh, put this photo in and you're done. I'm okay. like, turn it one way, turn it the other. <laughs> all right, how do so you do that? So this one, I just created a box mm -hmm. and I glued it all together. And what's great is you could you can get all sorts of different kind of looks. You can do, you know, like a pattern paper if you want, like an office set. You can do a photos. You can do um, some trendy art decor. And my favorite is how fun of a gift Aww. you can put your, you know, you put your children's art work in there but you, with those frames you can literally glue them together to make a window pane you can glue them together to hang down with ribbon a box there's so many things that you can do with those glue, just wood glue just or? wood glue okay. yep just wood glue so Clever. really great so tons you can do with that and what was the price on those again a dollar 99 for a pack of three oh, for, yeah three wow. yeah right? and you can make so many things with that okay this right here was probably this the easiest great. project this used to be a clock and let me just show you, this is the color that the clock used to be. Do you hear the disgust in your voice? I do. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we must have a hand on the hip thing there, you know. Yeah. This is the color. No, it was bad. It was really bad. So I took it apart and I decided to make a heritage frame because if you've ever gone shopping for the frames that have like the bevel, the bubbled glass, mm -hmm. they're so expensive. They are pricey. And this kind of already had the, be the beveled glass for the clock and I just put a heritage photo in there and it just really gave it a really classy frame. And I think I got that at a yard sale for a dollar. I love so that. My tip always look for the ugliest and you'll get the big best deal. So. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right, what's this? this right here is just an example of you can use it to spell out words. So you could do individual frames or you could do a set like this, spell out your kids' names. You could switch it out for the holidays. This one says boo because can you believe Halloween is the next holiday? Uh, it's crazy. Summer's not even over yet. Crackers are already all over it when yeah. it comes to advanced planning and crafting. Okay, so, and that's so easy. I love the idea of spelling out a kid's name though, even with those cheap IKEA yeah. frames, you can do that on a dresser. And what's so great about this is you can switch it out for Christmas. You could put joy and all it is is just decorative scrapbook paper and then some um, black stickers. Cute. So totally cute. Okay. There's this next one down that here. One, that one is, is, is my final um, woodworking project. Don't Did look you make too this? close. I made that. That was the easiest out of all of them because I basically just took a two by four, made the, um, made the frame like we talked about earlier, uh -huh. mounted it on top of another piece of wood, antiqued it. The frames in the middle I got at a yard sale for 10 cents a piece. 10 cents. 10 cents a piece. I just antiqued them, put a little eye hook up at the top, and hung the frames. This, I also saw a similar idea at the craft store, and it was $75. This cost me $4. You are to amazing. Make. Very cute. Two by four on the bottom. Is this like a one by four here on the yeah. or one yep. by three or something? Yeah, something like that. I'm kidding. Sure. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. <laughs> know. It's about this big. All That's I know is that, that that piece of wood cost $1.57, <laughs> and it was like nine feet long. So Great ideas, Christine. Hey, Thank thanks. you so much. More ideas, of course, for you on our website listed with Christine's tips to repurpose picture frames. We'll link you to her blog as well, kmkdesigns.com for some of those free downloads that she mentioned. And remember, if she only had one thing in the entire world, it would all revolve around frames. All right. yep.